way, you can utilize Instagram as a platform to bring a lot of customers through your doors, our awards and accolades. Now, Wilson, what are awards and accolades? How does, how does it even work? Well, if you have won any awards or have any publications or any accolades from previously, you need to be able to yell it at the top of your lungs on Instagram because everyone's on Instagram today and a lot of my clients, they have this mistake. They have this mistake of not boasting about their own accolades, about the awards that they have won, whether it is a local publication or James Beard Foundation or even Michelin star. You need to be able to tell the world about the awards that you have won, the accolades that you've earned. Why is that the case? It is because everyone loves to associate with the best. Everyone wants that status uplift. Everyone wants that prestige. People want to be able to bring their friends and family to wine and dine them, to wine and dine their spouse. And that's the reason why having an award and telling people that you're best at something or that you're really, really good and you're associated with one of the best is so important because it just gives them this boost in confidence. It is a validation of your product, your offering, and that, that itself turns a lot of potential customers into actual paying customers. The second Instagram tactic that I'm sharing with you today is called celebrity endorsement. Now, what is celebrity endorsement? It means that if you're lucky enough to have celebrities come through your doors, make sure you guys take pictures with them. Make sure you highlight them. Make sure you call them out. And not only do you put pictures within your restaurant, but you need to put it online and specifically on Instagram. And once again, you need to yell at the top of your lungs that you have these celebrities coming through. Why is that the case? It is because that is a stamp of approval of how great your restaurant is. And as we can see from Salt Bay, he always, always highlights the celebrities that comes through his doors, always highlights that. Why is that the case? It is because he wants to show the world that, hey, you know what? So-and-so even comes and consume at my restaurant, so you better trust that it is good. Now, I know and I understand a lot of us don't have that kind of high profile people coming through the doors. I'm sharing with you this tactic that is called celebrity endorsement. Does not mean that everyone that comes through needs to be celebrity in order for you to use this tactic. You can actually utilize this tactic as a principle. So when micro influencers, when the food bloggers that are around town, that are a little bit more high profile, that are a little bit more reputable in what they do, that's when you can feature them. That's when you can put on Instagram and explain to the world in the captions, in the quotes, in everything that you do. Just tell the world how great this person is and they're coming to consume at your restaurant. And thus that turns into trust, trust that you're going to be able to convert the regular scrollers on Instagram into regular customers who are consuming at your restaurant. If you guys are still watching this video, make sure you smash the like button because that just shows us a ton of support and love. And I want to thank you by creating more of these videos for you. Now let's dive right back in. The third Instagram tactic that you can utilize to get more people through the doors is called friends endorsement. Now a little bit different from celebrity endorsement. Now you're utilizing the friend community effect. Now, how do you do that? Well, make sure that when people are coming in, you actually incentivize people to actually share within their Instagram, not just put up a sign, not just tell people to do it. You actually need to incentivize them. A lot of restaurants actually incentivize people to actually post online, either for draws, either for free appies, you name it. This is super important because when our friends and when our family, when we see what these people are posting, we automatically feel like, wow, if our friends are dining at this place, if my family is dining at this place, it must be good. And that itself allows that restaurant to become top of mind and in turn makes me consume it more, makes me want and have the desire to come into your restaurant because I see it from my friends and family's feed. That's the reason why having friend endorsement within your Instagram is so key in bringing in more customers. Now, as a disclaimer, guys, if your food is not good, this might become like a scammy, different gray hat 
marketing tactic. So make sure that your food is good. So then that way, when their friends are being asked, Hey, you know what? I saw this, uh, this post that you made is the place actually good. Well, your friend can actually give their honest feedback. Yeah, the place is good. They treated me right. Great customer service, great ambience. And they also gave me a free appy because uh, to incentivize me to post this amazing stuff rather than them replying, Oh no, this place kind of sucks, but I just wanted the free appy. We don't want that kind of experience, which is the reason why you need to make sure as a prerequisite, your food is good. Your customer service is good. And everything is in alignment before you implement any of these tactics. The fourth way to utilize Instagram to promote for your restaurant is to have testimonials and reviews of what people are saying about your restaurant. Only if it's good though, again, guys, once again, the disclaimer is that if your restaurant food quality is just not that great, then please don't consider doing marketing. Don't think about Instagram marketing because Instagram marketing just exemplifies, amplifies the quality of your restaurant, the experience. You don't want people to come in through the doors if you haven't got your food dialed in, which is the reason why don't do marketing if your food sucks. Okay. But if your food is warranted, is good, then asking people for reviews, asking people to say something about an honest opinion about your restaurant and the experience that they have there is so, so effective. Why is that the case? Because if I tell you how great I am, I'm like, Hey guys, listen to me. Cause Wilson is amazing. That doesn't carry much weight. Whereas if I tell Jason, Jason, tell me how great I am. And Jason shares with you how great I am. That carries a lot more weight and even better. If we tell someone that we don't know that we're not associated with and tell them to tell you their personal experience with me, that itself is true, is honest. And you know, for a fact that you can put a lot of weight in what these people have to say. And that's the reason why public honest testimonials and reviews are so, so credible and so much more um, valuable for your restaurant. So when you can incentivize people to give you honest reviews, definitely do so. And once you have these reviews, don't just hide it under your bed. Don't just slap it on your wall, put it on your Instagram. Once again, yell it out, tell the world how great other people say your stuff is. And that's the reason why other people that haven't consumed at your restaurant will consider coming to buy from you because you have tipped the scale, you have gained that trust. And ultimately trust is the only thing that steps between a regular customers and the loyal fan. That's how you're going to be able to utilize Instagram to get more customers to your restaurant. A very actionable tip for you right now is that when people actually tag you, when they have stories of their food experience at your place, that itself, is already a testimonial that itself shows the world that, Hey, you know what? This guy is dining at your place. And if it's not good, people won't share it. And once again, if your food is not good, do not do this and do not utilize this strategy because when you actually reshare the story subconsciously, when people are actually going through your feed, when people are actually looking at your post, they see that, Oh, this is a story of someone enjoying their experience, having laughter, looking at these amazing, delicious, appealing food. Wow. I want to dine there as well. Wow. This is another stamp of approval that is given by a third party. And that's how you're going to be able to utilize testimonials and reviews for your Instagram friends. These are just some of the tactics that I'm sharing with you on how you can utilize Instagram to pull in more customers for your restaurant. And once again, please, please, please do not go through marketing. If you haven't dialed down on your food recipe, if you haven't dialed down in all the basic principles, because it will only backfire on you. If you haven't dialed those things down, Make sure you guys go in the description below and check out our free masterclass. It talks about the A to Z in building a profitable restaurant. It's an hour long, full on actionable training that I'm sharing with you completely free of charge because so many people are asking us questions and that's the reason why I made it. I want to make sure that you guys receive this gift. And once again, it is in the description below. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys show some love, smash the like button, subscribe along the journey because I'm going to share a lot more actionable tips with you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.